Hello everyone, Mr. O here, bringing you back another uh, DVD video. Now, this video, uh, well, this, like, episode series, I might make, like, a, a series of this, I don't know. But this is the first one. But before I show you what I have, I just want to show all these positive messages that I've got from many people in the DVD community on PS4. These are lovely people that have been very kind, even if I win or lose these people were really nice so thank you for all these there's a whole bunch of them but i just wanted to show you a few oh god not this map so as you can tell this will be post calm and i just wanted to show off the good people in this community and not everyone's a salty piece of garbage i guess uh <laughs> i know that some i get it right i get it right there are some people that lose and they feel entitled to say that you suck or you play dirty or whatever. And just because I played doctor, like look at that, they did the hi. I, I, well, I don't know if that was supposed to be toxic or they were supposed to be saying hello. Anyway, the people that we're going to focus on is the Kate and the Meg. And the reason for them is they're the ones that sent the messages. Well, the Kate only sent one message. Uh, but the Meg is the one that had the entitlement kicking in. Anyway, so I'm just playing with a, a oh, I would say like a unique set, but like it's not an overpowered set. The only thing that I would consider powerful on my set is Nurse's Calling. And Hex Ruin is just good on Doctor Naturally. Uh, Dying Light is its not actually a great perk, but it, it, it helps with the stacks. But I felt like... If I've got Dying Light on, Dark Devotion will work really well with it because, if I'm honest, I'm going to be hitting my obsession and I'm going to take that as an advantage. Me and Crazy, well, Crazy Mom was talking about Dark Devotion and when I tried it and we were talking about it, it is actually a really good perk. I actually personally love Dark Devotion. It's a good perk. The only problem is that you don't feel its effects, but you know it's a way. So as long as you have that mindset that it is working, then it's all cool. So at this point, two gens have been done quite quickly, which is, you know, fair enough. And uh, I see them with nurses calling, and, and this is the lovely Kate that just simply said fuck you. Uh, because uh, you'll see later on. And instead of going forward, she just vaults. Uh, questionable, questionable, but whatever. Uh, so they were just salty. And... Uh, that's fair enough, but if, if like, I always usually say GG on the most of my killer matches, and if I don't get, like, a GG back, and I just get, like, someone telling me to go fuck myself, or saying I'm this, that, and the other, I'm gonna report them, like, I have that my right to do that. But, oh, it's, it, oh, it's, it's, it gets even better when the Meg gets involved, oh, believe me. It gets so much better. Anyway. So, I find the Neo, which I would argue, this is my obsession, uh, I would argue she's probably the stronger survivor out of this. And uh, she's the obsession, and we go for a little chase. Nothing too big. She knows that she's not going to be able to drop that pallet, or she's just trying to save it, which is a smart on her move, because a few of these guys premature drop pallets, even though they don't really need to. Uh, my rune goes at this point, so she's kind of like confused and like, you know, we, we do this little dance, and I take her down. So when I pick her up, um, I'll be able to see the healing of the Kate and the uh, Zarina, I believe. So I see them both, and I'm just like, yeah. And what am I going to do in this situation? I'm not going to go for the person that's already still injured or the person that's been fully healed. I'm going to go for the person that's injured. Because, again, two gens have already been done. Alright. And so the Zarina comes and protects like a good survivor teammate would. And slams the pallet at a great time. Then, <laughs> I don't know if she thought I was going to break the pallet. But she just ran, like, really cut close, and I was just like, well, thank you for making my job easier. I had a feeling that should go that way, but regardless. So I see all these scratch marks, and I know the arena's still here. She wants to go for the save, naturally. So I go after the arena, fully healed. 
So I keep chasing her. At this point, the near has been the near has been saved, and I'm chasing her. And uh, she doesn't know. She tries to drop the pallet, but it doesn't work because she doesn't know how Doctor's power works. It's not the fact that he's OP. It's the fact is if you don't know how his power works, that doesn't mean he's. OP. I, I don't understand why some people think he's too strong. He's not. It's just the fact is you just need to time your pallet drops. Now this is the part where it gets interesting. I've hooked someone, right? I've just, I've hooked the Zarina. So at this point it's all game. I don't go for the near because you see all these generators here? I need to protect this side of the field, right? So the fact is that so the near wasn't on that side. And the Meg wasn't on that side, even though I haven't seen the Meg yet. But I knew that he was over there due to the fact that my shot shot three people. So obviously I'm going to go for Kate, who was going straight down. This is not tunneling, though. I've already hooked. Like, this is how it's gone down so far. Zarina, Kate. Nia, Kate. Zarina, Kate. How is that tunneling? If I've... If, if I was tunneling, I would have stopped that chase with Zarina and turned my ass right back round. Did I do that? No. I can understand why this Kate is upset. And she just does a simple fuck you and I said lol, easy report. And apparently that was supposed to be a joke according to the Meg. But we'll get to Meg anyway a little bit later on. So I use my power to track because that's what Doctor does best. Tracking. Understanding where other people are. That doesn't make him powerful, that is just how his power works. So I see the Meg, because clearly she thinks being in tier 3 madness makes her clearly invisible, even though she was glowing like hot lava behind the tyres. So anyway, she prematures this, whatever. Now, I come to some form of assumption a little later on in the match that she's the weakest player out of the four and um, so I pick her up so I'm just like great I've got at least I've got all four people my dead light uh, my dying light is stacking up that is fantastic news good god this stuff is fucking ages away yes past me I totally agree with you the that hook was unnecessarily too far away but we don't get into politics in terms of the hooking uh, <laughs> in terms of the terms of hooking so there's no one around me, fair enough. I look around. So clearly that gen's down there. I'm not too fussed about that gen because I'm more concerned about the gens all on the one side because they're kind of free genning themselves. I see uh, the near and I go for the near. So uh, this Meg also claims that I camped, uh, tunneled and I slugged. Um, so where was the tunneling, uh, oh, no sorry, where was the camping then? Because that's the first incident. She planned out I was camping. How was I camping? I went back on myself when the generator went off to search who did it. And I, this Neo, we mean this Neo go on for a good chase for a couple of uh, minutes. And so, well apparently this is wrong. Okay. So my dark devotion goes up, but I still pursue on the Neo. Because I really actually wanted to drop this pallet because it will be much easier in the long run. Which she does, so, so thank god. So, And she completely abandons the killer shack. Fair enough. So, I see them do a generator. I have Dark Devotion up. It might confuse them. So this is the reason why I abandon Nia. Because this is how it works. I hit the Zarina. But the Nia is still here. So then I abandon the Zarina to go for the Nia. To finish her off to get the restack on my Dark Devotion, which now gives her the Terror Radius. Like I said, I don't use it to its full potential. I could have just left her. I could have just slugged her and then just gone for the other guys. But I feel like I've had enough seconds and these guys don't feel like the strongest team. They just seem like they're proper going for gem rushing at this point. Um, or just, just doing the gems in, uh, in general. So I go back to the generator where them guys are done. I premature on the static blast, I thought that would get them from that range, but it didn't. And I'm assuming from that generator process, uh, progress, process, progress, uh, <laughs> um, that at least two of them have been working on it. 
So I lose. I think it was the Zavrina or the Meg. I lose both of them. And all right, fair enough. One of them must be going for the save. So I turn myself back around because I'm not going to spend all day trying to look for this person. So I come back and I'm just, I don't know where's who, they've all gone behind this uh, hill. So my Dark Devotion's off, so I'm thinking, mm, I'm, I'm going to smack the Nia and then I'm going to leave her. But I realise there's not a lot of pallets, like I've not touched that area completely, so they've still got pallets, they've still got a lot of things to open up an opportunity, and like I said, I thought the Nia was the strongest player. So I go back to that generator, and the Zarina is here. And apparently this was a problem as well. It's the fact that I go back to gens, because I know they already have process. Like, not process, progress! God, why do I see, keep saying process? Progress on it. So I chased this Zarina around, and I thought she was going to turn about around, around the pallet. Fair enough, she didn't. That was a good, that was a good, uh, good strategy. And I keep following her, and and I again I, I keep fucking along. I'm like, are you gonna do a pallet? And I do it again. I'm like, are you gonna do the pallet? <laughs> but she doesn't, and I take her down. So this has all been fair game, right? I mean, I can understand the Kate's frustration, but at the same time, I didn't tunnel. If I've already hooked another person before them, that's not tunneling. They're just again entitled survivors are everywhere right now. So anyway, two are dead, two to go. And I go back to the bus because I'm like, that had progress on it. But, they did it. So, both of them must be here or something. So the Meg makes like that, like, I'm sorry, I can hear her in the bus and I know she's gonna vault. Like, you know I'm next to you. I can hear your footsteps, I know you're about to vault that shit. Anyway, she makes questionable moves around here as well. I get her into tier 3 and I take her down. This is the Meg that has the major problem. It's like... <laughs> her logic does not make sense. And so like, she can, like, accuse me of slug and tunneling and blah 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 blah, but... It helps if you was actually good at the game, mate. Maybe then I could take your criticism. But clearly in this footage... I have done none of those things that you oh, go so claim. Good sir. So, I checked these generators, and from my understanding, none of them been done. So I go back, and I'm just like, okay, are they onto that one? Are they on that gen? No, they're not. It's still regressing. So I knock down this pallet, and I go to this gen. Turns out, there was someone on here but no scratch marks, so I'm assuming they've already left to get the Meg. Fair enough. How is that camping? Meg, how is that camping? I'm looking for where, you know, you guys are because the generators are the main mission of a survivor. I'm going to check my generators. It doesn't matter if the, genera the generator is next to you while you're on the hook. That still doesn't mean camping, you idiot. So, I do get them with Nurse's Calling. So I zap to stop them from doing such silly things. I see the Nia. And I take the Nia down. Now this is where Dark Devotion comes in. As the um, Terror Radius is on the Nia right now. So it might look like I've left the area. I know where the Meg is. She's actually behind there because I can actually see her, her arm. And then she runs in front of me because she does... <laughs> like, I knew she was behind that wall because I could see her slightly, you know, her arm stick out. But apparently, since I knew both of them were there, of course I'm going to check. Of course I'm going to check... ...where both of them are. If I know both of them are there, of course I'm going to take one down and look for the other one. My job as a killer is to kill people. And, but apparently this was too much. Apparently this is slugging. Like, yeah, I took the near down and I used Dark Devotion as an advantage against you, Meg. But clearly you don't understand that. 
because you're an entitled survivor that knows nothing. Anyway, like I've had much harder matches uh, in red ranks, but and I I feel like I played extremely fairly. Uh, but you will see that some people just can't take um, any form of criticism, any form of and like. Fair enough, I just said GG, and and this triggered people. Like, the Zarina and Nia never said anything, I don't, I don't think they even... They might have said GGG back, I, I'll have to check, but... Anyway, again, we're focusing on the K and the Meg. The K just simply said fuck off, and but we'll see what our precious little Meg has to say. So, if you guys enjoyed this, don't forget to hit that like button, don't forget to share this out, and don't forget to subscribe if you're new. And if you want more episodes like this, let me know in the comments section below. So enjoy the messages, and I'll see you guys in the next one.